three, two, one. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's another Rust Council video from your boy, Razor. All right. So today, if you guys are new to the channel, before we get into today's topic, make sure you hit that sub and like button, hit that notification bell for the most up-to-date and recent Rust Council edition news. But today we're going to be talking about a pretty hot topic, some mega news about horses, how they're behind, how we might get modular cars soon, and we're going to talk a little bit about the custom servers for the Rust console, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, and all the OG consoles out there. So if you're new, slap that button, hit that like button, do whatever you got to do. So here we have horses. This is going to be the, the next biggest, biggest update that Rust console is going to receive. And what that is going to do is give any type of player on the Rust console community side the availability to travel across a huge map such like this okay such as this i should say rather anyways so what's going to happen when or after we get horses okay because we got the horse apocalypse coming that's probably going to be here in july hopefully if the devs pull it off it'll be in the ptb in july it'll be there for maybe one to three months and then we get it on main branch but what's gonna be double eleven's next successor when it comes to content well you're looking at it it's called the modular vehicular no it's a modular modular car but why do we think this is going to come next well first off i know double eleven had inside their discord a survey on some of the items that rust council players could pick in a survey like what they want next to be in the game. There was community servers, modular vehicles, horses, all this other stuff. Well, community servers, we know two years ago they said they were going to have the community servers. And let me tell you something right now. We haven't seen it yet. The game's been out for two years. Everybody's asking for that. That is the biggest, most ticketed item on every Rust Council Edition players list. Let me tell you that right now. From Solo to Zerg, everybody wants community servers. So let's let's get that happening. I know they mentioned it uh, quite a bit and saying that they're going to get them soon. They're just looking at their options, which, I mean, I guess, cool. But we still haven't seen it yet. Hopefully, it's going to be after the horse apocalypse, which is going to be the next update. But we don't know that yet, right? I can't say anything about something that hasn't been determined. So, but why why do we think cars are going to be after horse apocalypse well there's plenty of reasons why first they require electricity for the car lift in order to switch off the modules on on the vehicles right because most of these vehicles come in oh man i didn't put enough power in it or any power most of these vehicles you you actually put the pieces on here which means they can come in one to three pieces this one is a front seat back seat and a storage unit which will be cool. It makes it pretty awesome for going around the map, farming, or raiding. Um, you have singular vehicles such as this, which is just used for transportation. You can definitely use that to, from traveling monument to monument, and you'll be able to lock them with key, the key locks, which is great. I think it's a good addition. Before, you used to use normal keys to open and close the door, but people were losing that, so you could put the keypad on there or the key lock like this onto here and lock it up, put it in your base. Boom, there you go. Now, the reason why I think these bad boys are going to be next is because they were saying that, first off, this is a segue to this conversation, that minis they couldn't put in because of the terrain and the, when you're flying so fast on a mini such like this and obviously i got god mode on and no clip but um you your older consoles once they've tested it before are going to not be able to load in any of the entities or bases on the map fast enough for us to have minis basically your old console would melt okay it would be shredded it would catch on fire no i'm just kidding but you know, you know what I'm saying? The old gen consoles you couldn't use with minis because the terrain wasn't optimized and the game wasn't fully optimized to its best potential, okay? Now, why do cars allow us to travel faster? Because they've reworked the road system so far inside of Rust Council Edition. On PC, we have a road system similar to that, right? 
because one's going to mirror the other. And the cool thing is, is with vehicles, you can traverse anywhere as long as you got the gas and you know how to drive. Okay. Why they're going to come next is because they're definitely slower than a mini. They're faster than a horse. Okay. With the old gen councils, you'll be able to load in the map a little bit faster in a car because it only goes straight, right? And basically from the front seat, you don't have anything really to load in from your player's point of view, right? So when I get in the car like this, I only have to load in what's underneath this little awning or roof, right? Compared to a mini, it's kind of like almost having to load in the entire world perspective when you're that high up off the ground, which would me melt your council, okay? So in the cars, it gives you that ability in order to travel fast, well, faster than these little guys, but you're not straining your freaking council's memory, okay? So these are some of the great things that come with the modular vehicles, and that's why I think that this is going to be a very big content piece that will be coming after the horse apocalypse. Now, I know that I've said that horses are behind um, in my last video. Let me just kind of clarify what that means for you as a Rust Council Edition player. When I mean behind, I mean they're doing a quality of life fixes for the Rust Council Edition right now in order to optimize the game enough to bring these little guys in now what that means is is they're gonna they just recently did a, a node fix for the p and it's on the ptb right now um for the loot tables of the nodes popping in to the map before there was a lack of nodes now there's more nodes you could take a survey if you don't like the update on the double eleven discord check it out or the rest council dis discord whatever same thing but that's what I meant by horses behind because they have to get all the quality of life fixes done first before these bring these little guys in because once they start this, they're not going to focus on the little minor problems that we have in the game that could potentially break the game, right? If they don't fix it. So that's what I meant by horses behind. Now, um, we already talked about the cars before minis. This is why I think these bad boys will be soon after horses. That's great. But... Let's touch base a little bit on custom servers and where I think they're at. So right now, I don't think Double Eleven has a... I don't want to say that they don't have a plan, but they don't have a plan set in stone for what they want to do with custom servers. Custom servers right now is kind of this enigma for all of the Rust Council community. What that means is, is we don't know what's going on with them. Now, we don't know if Double Eleven is going to host their own servers. They, we don't know if they're going to hire a third-party um, service to host the servers. But let's just say we're waiting for server custom servers like this in a room somewhere so we could make our own custom server, pay for that bad boy, and have our own types of maps or play our own map rather than going onto official and getting pushed in by zergs solos duos and trio servers need to be made in order to make the game better this has been one of the highly most requested items that i've seen in my community and the rust council community in general and anybody else that's a creator on whatever platform has been asked hey when are we getting community servers well the answer to that question is we don't know because there is no determined factors that we can look at behind the scenes or in front of us right now that will let us know what the answer to custom servers are as of yet it is our job when surveys come out as the rust council community to be like hey answer the questions there's been sur plenty of surveys about custom servers, cars, all this other stuff, all this other crap that you guys ask me about. And you should be going out there and participating in these servers because that's what's going to control the push of content that comes out next for us. So think about that. When you're complaining that there's no custom servers, you're quitting Rust Council because you're like, oh, I don't have a community server, and you're crying about it, fix it. Okay? The devs have been pretty open by asking the question what you guys want next get out there answer the question so they can determine what they're going to push 
with further content updates. But that's where the custom servers are at. We don't, we really don't know. It is what it is. So make sure when you're doing this to actually participate. Anyways, that's it for my update video, all right? We talked about horses being behind the cars before mini soon, and we talked about custom servers. If you guys like what you see, hit that like button, hit that sub button if you guys are new, that's awesome. And hit that notification bell to get the most up-to-date and recent Rust Council Edition news. I will see you guys next video. Bye. Get out of my video now. Go play Rust Council or something, all right? Get out of my face. Right, Joey? Get out. <laughs>